hello guys you're welcome back to my channel this is Angela I'm here so today I'm going to show you how to make easy shorts so today I'll show you the cutting as well as the stitching of the shorts for you to wear so the first thing to do is to remove the length of the shorts so for this tutorial our length of this shorts will be 12 so I will add 2 inches for seam allowance. So here I have this is 12. So I didn't add the 2 inches again. Remember I said 2 inches making it 14 for seam allowance. So I will not make it this 12 because this shot will have a band. So the 2 inches will be for the band. So we will work with the 12. So this is 12 here. The next thing to do is to check the hip measurements of the girl. So for this tutorial, the hip measurement is 32. So 32 divided by 2, sorry, 32 divided by 4 will give us 8. So what I will do is to mark out 8. Mark out 8. And I will add half inch seam allowance making it eight and half so mark out eight and half all all the way down yeah it's eight and half and i'll connect it to a straight line So this is eight and a half. So to get the hip line, what you will do is to measure the girl's um, length from the shoulder to the hip line. So for the owner of this, the length of um, the shoulder to the hip length is 18 and the half length is 12. So what you will do is to minus 18 from 12. So when we minus 18 from 12, we'll have 6. Guys, I hope I try to explain it well. So I'll mark out 6 here. This is 6. This is 6 here. So I'll connect it to a straight line like this. So, this is the hip line. So, to get the cross line, we'll still do the same thing. We'll minus, we'll, sorry, we'll divide the hip by 4. So, when we we'll divide the hip by 4, we'll have 8. So, we'll mark out 8 here. That is how to get the cross line. This is 8. This is it here, yeah. and I'll connect it to a straight line. So, guys, this is the cross line here. This is the cross line. So, here now, you measure, you check the thigh measurement or the thigh circumference. So, for this, the thigh circumference. 18 so 18 divided by 2 will give us 9 plus 1 inch seam allowance that is 10 so I'll remove 10 here this is 10 and I'll connect it to the straight line I'll join it to this line here so here I will come in by half inch here this half inch here so now we we'll connect this point to this point here you can use your hand or look for anything that can be easy for you to to work with so we'll connect it to this point then we'll move it to this other point here
so this is it now this is the length of the short so here we'll just connect this point to this point just connect it to a straight line So, after connecting it, I will check what I have here. So, here I have four and half. So, the midpoint of four and half is two and quarter, which is here. And I'll come in by quarter inch, which is here. I just use your hand and just give it a, a slanting kind of just slant it a bit so this is it so here we'll come I'll mark out half inch here this is half inch so I'll just connect it to this point here can just use your hand and connect it so guys this is it i'll just cut it out this is the front pattern i'll just cut it out and i'll show you guys how it looks so guys this is the front pattern this is how it looks a very simple um shot to make so the next thing to do now is to cut out the back pattern so, I'm going to... so to cut out the back pattern i'll place the front pattern like this and i'll trace out all my lines trace all out So I'll connect all the lines. This is the, the hip line. This is, this is the crotch line. So I'll measure out the eight that I have here. And half half is for seam allowance. So can I do that? to a straight line okay remember this is the hip line this is the crotch and this is the length so here i'll come up by one and a half inch you know when you're making a shot the back pattern or the back side is always bigger or longer than the front pattern so here i'll add one and a half inch Now connect it to a straight line. So 
So after connecting it, I will. So guys, what I did, I just trace trace the front pattern out, as you can see. Just trace it out before measuring out the back pattern. So after tracing it out now, look at it. I now added one and a half inch here. So after that, here I will add one inch all the way down here. This is one inch here. One inch. Now this is the new hip line for the back. So here I will mark out one and a half here as well. Or rather, I'll make it one inch because I've added seam allowance already. So I'll add one inch here as well. That is on the cross line. And I'll connect, connect it to this new point here. So this is it. I'll also come in by half inch here. So connect it down to this point. You can find anything that can be comfortable with you when tracing it out. So here I will also add one inch as well here, all the way down to this point. So now this is the new line for the back pattern. So I'll still check what I have here and then mark out the midpoint. The same four and a half. So the midpoint is two and a quarter, which you see. So here the same thing I did for the front pattern, that is what I will still do here. A quarter inch. Just give it a slight slanting curve like this and here I will also come in by half inch and press it so that is it this is just how to cut out the back pattern So after cutting it out, I will, I will use my Ankara to make this lovely short for a little girl. Actually, you can use this measurement for a six or seven year old girl. But remember, it varies because some children are on the back side, while right? some on the slim side. So the best thing to do is to take their measurement first before working with it. So just trace it out. So this is the back pattern and this is the front pattern. So I will use this Ankara fabric to make this lovely short so I'll fold it like this this is one yard so start with my front pattern fold, cut it like this just like 
this but for this um shorts i'm going to use lining to line this because i want it to have a little weight this ankara is very soft so i'll be using um, a lining to work on this so the same thing the same way you cut out this pattern on the main fabric is the same way you cut it out too on the lining so let me cut it out and i'll show you guys so guys this is how it looks like this is the back pattern while this is the front pattern so this is the lining for the front the lining for the back as you can see i didn't i did not cut it out like this i just cut straight so by the time i'll fold the lining inside i will not have any shortages around this place and this place so the next thing to do now i'll start from the back side I'll join it from here from the down I'll join it this is the, the, the down part I'll just join it straight that's how I'll do the back and the front so guys as you can see I've joined it like this so what I'll do now is to fold it like this and so now you fold it and you check the length that you want then all you have to do is just to trace it out you see why i didn't cut it like this for on the lining so that you will not have shortages here so after folding it like this my own i just want to fold in one inch so this is one inch after folding it one inch i'll pin it So after pinning it, I'll cut out these excesses. So the next thing to do, this is the two back parts, I will join it together like this. But before I do that, before I do that, I would like to put a little pleat here. A little, just very small here before I join this. So I will now put these pleats here here and also on the front part before i will now join this together remember when you want to put the pleats make sure you start from the center to avoid it being one-sided so i'll just put the pleats quickly on both the front and back parts and then i'll show you guys So guys, as you can see, I've added a little bit on it. So the next thing to do is to join, to join it like this, and I'll do the same on the front part. So guys, let me just do that quickly, and I'll show you. So after joining it, this is how it looks like. So the next thing I'll do is to join these places together like this. I'll join it. After joining it, I'll now close the two sides. So guys, let me just do that and I'll show you. So guys, I've joined it. This is the back. This is the front. So the next thing to do is I'll be using this for the band. As you can see, I opened the two sides because I want to add belts for this. So what I'll do here, I have four inches. By the time I'll fold it, I'll have, have an join. By the time I fold and join, I'll have three inches. So here is four. So what I'll do now is to join it from inside. 
After that, I'll now fold it like this. So let me quickly do that and I'll show you guys. So guys, this is the final look of the dress. As you can see, I've joined the both sides and I just added a little belt on it. This is the front side, this is the back. As you can see, the belt, you can tie it any way you like. So the belt you can tie it anyway and don't forget to give it a good press. So guys, that is it. As you can see, it's looking beautiful. So guys, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye.